10 Facts No One Knows About the Toyota Supra The Toyota Supra is one of the all-time greats of Japanese performance cars. In fact, it's one of the world's best sports cars ever. The original Toyota Supra sports car was first launched in 1978, with production only coming to an end almost a quarter of a century later in 2002. The vehicle has recently made a return, with the new Toyota Supra model going on sale in 2019. There are even plans for a hybrid version of the sporty Supra to appeal to environmental conscious 21st century motorists. The style of the Toyota Supra is based on the Toyota Celica. The first Toyota Supra model would have looked familiar to drivers of the late 70s. After all, the design of the vehicle was very much based on another Toyota classic, the Toyota Celica. The Celica has made its debut in 1971 and had proven to be a big hit with drivers, so the Japanese company knew they had a recipe for success. The car was known as the Celica Supra until 1986. In fact, for the first two generations, the Toyota Supra was officially known as the Toyota Celica Supra. In Japan, the high-spec model was known as the Toyota Celica 20, but this name clashed with a brand of beer in the US, and so the name was changed to Celica Supra. When production ended for the Toyota Celica Supra in 1985, Toyota began building the Celica and the Supra as two separate cars. Many drivers today don't even realize that the first Supra models were essentially a trim package for the Celica. There is Toyota Supra with a 2000 HP engine. The latest Toyota Supra model has a powerful engine that can generate around 194 horsepower and able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds. This pales in comparison with a modified Toyota Supra which has been competing in drag races in Qatar which has an engine capable of generating an astonishing 2,000 horsepower. Drag racing is all about high speeds over short distances, so power is everything, and this custom vehicle can reach speeds of 170 miles per hour in the space of the 4 second run along the drag strip. Current engine based on the same one used in the vintage Toyota 2000 GT. The standard engine in the current Toyota Supra is a very different beast indeed, but it is still impressively powerful for the time. While the styling of the original Supra borrowed heavily from the Celica, it was another Toyota vehicle that inspired the team when it came to creating an engine for the new Toyota Supra in 2019. The engine in the new model was based on the design and the performance of the Toyota 2000 GT, the first Japanese supercar, which was in production between 1967 and 1969. The Supra also traces much of its roots back to the 2000 GT owing to an inline-six layout. The Supra was cancelled in the US in 1998. While production officially ended on the old Toyota Supra in 2002, it was cancelled four years earlier in the US. There was a major change to the engineering of the car in 1996 which resulted in a significant increase in its price. Fewer than 1,000 Toyota Supra models were sold in the States in 1996, which led to the company deciding to scrap the vehicle shortly afterward. Sales continued in Japan and Europe until 2002, until Toyota broke drivers' hearts everywhere by announcing the worldwide cancellation of the Supra. It made a triumphant return in 2019. Toyota Supra fans have had to wait almost 20 years but the sporty favorite finally made a triumphant comeback in 2019. There had been rumors for a while that the Supra was going to be relaunched, and finally, Toyota unveiled a motor racing concept model at the 2018 Geneva International Motor Show. Even now the Toyota Supra is back, the car continues to attract attention, with new rumors suggesting that a manual transmission version could soon be available and that the Supra may soon be offered as a hybrid or even an EV. The first 2019 production model sold for $2.1 million. The return of the Toyota Supra was one of the most exciting moments in recent automotive history, and a generation of men who had grown up driving the Supra in their teens were more than ready to embrace the new and improved 2019 version. Motorsports teams have used the Supra in races around the world. The supercharged Toyota Supra which has been winning drag races in Qatar is not the only Supra which has been a success in motorsports. In the 1980s, Supra drivers were competing in touring car races in Japan, Britain, and Australia, while Celica Supra models also made occasional appearances in rally competitions. More recently, the Supra competed in and completed the 25 Hours of Le Mans races in 1995, while the new Toyota GR Supra GT4 concept has been specially created for the European GT4 racing series.
Toyota supercars have appeared in dozens of movies. It isn't just on the racetrack that the Toyota Supra has made an impact. A car as iconic as the Supra has also been featured in Hollywood movies, TV shows, and video games. You can drive a Toyota Supra in the popular Gran Turismo video games, but the car's biggest starring roles have been in the Fast and Furious movies. Paul Walker's character Brian O'Connor drives a souped-up orange Toyota Supra in the very first film of the franchise. The very recognizable car was later sold at auction for $185,000. The Supra was the first car to have a built-in navigation system. The Toyota Supra may have been an iconic car, but few people know that it was also a truly innovative vehicle. The 1981 Supra model was the first car to have a built-in onboard navigation system, predating the widespread use of GPS systems by almost 15 years.